What is up, UP? This is David Hale, and welcome to What Are You Up To? The series where we share all of the latest and greatest tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the game in your academic career here at Lone Star College University Park. Now, uh, to begin, what we're going to be looking at is my My Lone Star page. Now, what you're going to see here is that I have a few more tabs than you probably do. That's just due to my various responsibilities here on campus. But what we're going to be looking at is um, the student tab. So this tab uh, right here you should be very familiar with. Because it takes us to the student homepage. Now the student homepage has all of the information that you need to succeed here at University Park. We've got our completion progress, which we're going to be going over today. We've got academic records. We have financial account where you can pay for your classes, financial aid in case you need some financial aid information or help. And then we also have managed classes, which we can use to register here. Now, um, like I said, today we're going to be doing completion progress. So let's go ahead and click on that. And as this opens up, we can see that we have academic progress, expected graduation term, advisors. So lots of great stuff. Um, but let's get started with our academic progress. Now, I am a new student here at Lone Star College University Park. This is my first semester, never taken courses before. So if you are a new student, your academic progress is going to look something like mine. I am also a business student. So let's go through this together. So academic progress, we have active courses, we have courses in progress, ungraded. If you want to click on those, you can see more information. Now we also have our Associate of Arts with Field of Study and Business. So this is my major right here. I'm going for my Associate of Arts. And here we can see units completed 20%. That means that I've completed 20% of my degree um, because I am taking some courses this semester. So I still have a long way to go, but as I just said, I'm starting off, so this is to be expected. Um, if I click this, I can see courses in progress, ungraded. Um, I can see my degree requirements here. Uh, my GPA. Now here, you're not going to see my GPA because again, I just started. So having not finished any classes yet, I really don't have any um, classes to score. Therefore, I don't have a GPA yet. Now here, um, this is going to be our degree plan. This is going to show us all the courses we need to graduate, which is a really handy tool um, if you need to see like, do I still need a history class? Do I still need an English class? Well, it's going to tell you right here. So let's go through this together. Now, I'm not satisfied. That means that I have not finished my degree plan yet. Well, let's see why. Well, learning framework. This is going to be that EDUC 1300 class that we love to talk about uh, in our new student orientations. Now, I have not completed this class yet, so I have 0% completed. Let's go down now. Communication. Now, this semester, I am taking an English course. So, here we can see units completed 50%. That means that I'm going to need to take two English courses because I'm halfway done. So one English course, 50% there, so doing pretty good. Now I am in my Math for Business Majors course, my Math 1324. So here you can see I haven't completed the class yet, but once I do, this will be 100%. So I am satisfied on that. Very good information here, but let's keep going and see what else we got uh, on this academic progress. So expected graduation term. So I just started, so I do not have an expected graduation term, but I can see that I am active in program and I am going for my associate's degree, so that's good. Now advisors, I have not been assigned an advisor yet. If you have, then you'll see their contact information and probably a picture of their face right here. So if you do need to get into contact with an advisor and you know, you're know you not sure about which English class to take, which term to take, things like that, um, Advisors can definitely help you make a plan. So my completion progress. Uh, we can see what I've done so far. So again, I'm only 20% done with my uh, degree plan. Um, but I can see my TSI scores. These were waived for me. And then I can see just some general information. So learning framework. Now remember that a standard course is three credit hours. So that means that one class without a lab is three credit hours. So learning framework, like I said, this is my EDUC three class, 1300 class. Units required is three credit hours, units used zero. So units needed three. So I still need this course. Now, if I go down to communication, this is gonna be my English. 
Now units required is six. Units used is three because I'm taking one of my English courses now. And so I still need three. So this means that I need two English courses, three plus three is six. So the science courses do have a lab with them. So units required eight. So if one class is three plus a lab is one, so that's four for a science class. So I'll need two science courses um, to complete this uh, requirement. And here it says units needed eight. So four plus four equals eight. Now let's go ahead and look at graduation. So I'm a brand new student. I don't really need to worry about graduating right now, but if you are graduating, which means that you are in your last semester here with us, first of all, congratulations, very proud of you. Um, second of all, you do need to apply for graduation. What this does is let us know that you are ready to graduate and also lets us know where we need to send your diploma and all that other good stuff so we can make sure that you are good to go to walk that stage. So if you are ready for graduation, um, you will see some buttons on here where you can click next and it'll take you through the process again i am not ready so i do not have access to that and then the last thing we have here is course requirement alert um, what this is going to do is just let you know that if you are taking a course that is not within your degree plan um, you may be charged for that um, and you might have to pay for that out of pocket so Let's say that I am a computer science major and I'm like, well, you know, maybe I just want to take an extra painting class just because I think painting's fun. Well, because that's not in your plan, um, you will have to or probably will have to pay for that out of pocket because financial aid will only pay for things that is in your degree plan and veterans benefits um, will usually work the same way. But that's going to be all for today. Uh, I hope this was informative. Have a great day.